no payo. What? Mentone, 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 mentone. Oh, me ready. Etina be, me na wase. Inti sami shawo nyoma. Esifa, I no pay me ne me busiye. Why am I? And that's Messi and Tuntum Sana, Yafamano, or Santum Tumo, Omire, Hadonia, Adia, Messi and Tuntum Sana, Yafamano, or Santum Tumo, and Tuntumine. Messi, I I Missing <laughs> Nakua Mosendo, Ekwama Nyomsa, Eradi Nyakopo, Ati Nina Sotofo, Unoma Ayakasio Na. Namisho, Mese Mere Santen. Why, <laughs> Ati awaya, ejo nyami ejo, uyado. Ano pesa mi sha, na mi kine, na mi kai kai, ebu shebiya yefri mwa. Oh ejo, ejo nyami ejo. We are the one. I don't know me. I don't know. Oh, 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 what the who may say, Wama, Mamma,
Amen. Amen. Oh, and you can't sorry, John. I'm also sorry, John. I'm also. Amen. Bible says, Fight the dear man and the dear son of Amen. Because he knows that you carry something valuable. And that's what the story that the Bible spoke about is saying. And it was Jesus that was trying to say a parable to the disciples. Telling them a story of a farmer who was planting. And the enemy also came to plant evil things in the farm. Many a times, we see some beautiful blessings coming our way. But just along the line something happens and that thing is not able to manifest again. Many a time, somebody will promise you, oh, my daughter, my sister, come to my house this morning 
come and take hundred Ghana. But you go knocking the, the next day to that person, so that person will say, oh, I'm sorry. I can't help you again. It's as a result of an enemy who has changed that person's mind about you. Hallelujah. Say, this morning, we are come to destroy our enemies. Say, this morning, I'm coming to destroy my enemy. Whoever is in my life and is planting evil weeds and planting evil things in my life, this morning, I'll destroy them. Amen. So, as I said, in the other version, the Bible makes us to understand that it was tests that the enemy planted. And when you look at tests, test is some kind of plant that disguises. It grows like the wheat, but it's not wheat. It's not wheat. It grows just like the wheat will grow and go with grains. But in the end, you see that it's not wheat. It's a very poisonous plant that when you eat, you choke and die. So that is what the enemy planted in the farmer's land. And those are the bad things that the enemy is also putting in our life. Hallelujah. So sometimes you see that, oh, things are coming. Things are coming to my life that taste blessings, but it's not as it seems. The enemy tries to disguise himself in certain ways in our life. Just as a friend will be around you, you may think that person likes me, loves me, but that person is planting evil behind your back. Sometimes we will say that, oh, only panic fear for any no one a time for. On us, only part time for no one in fear for. Hallelujah. This is trying to tell us that for an enemy to get you, it will depend on the people that live in your house. No one can come to your house and come and do you evil without somebody giving them a pop or information about a particular person. Hallelujah. Nobody can even go to a woman's house or a man can go to a woman's house and say that, oh, I've seen this beautiful girl. I want to ask my hand in marriage. Unless the person sees the elders of the house. That is how the enemy operates in our life. They always get somebody that they can use in our life to fight that. So this morning, the Lord is going to expose anyone around you that works evil against your life. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to expose every betrayer in our life. Amen. So the Bible also makes us to understand that the enemy only comes to steal and destroy. So this enemy we are talking about is someone who comes in a disguise. Comes in a disguise, pretends that I love you, but in the end, that that person doesn't love you. They pretend that they are mourning with you. They are rejoicing with you. But their heart is full of evil. Hallelujah. So, this morning, we are coming to tackle what an enemy is. What an enemy is. So, an enemy is someone who curses you. Number one. An enemy is someone who curses you. Two. Someone who hates you. Number three, someone who despises you. Someone who despises you. Someone who despises you. Number four, someone who is very deadly. Say Hallelujah. So go on. The enemy is someone kid. Someone who is wicked has no mercy. That person has no mercy. That is what an enemy is. The next thing, someone who is very harmful. And the last thing is someone who wants to enjoy you up a web pro up a set on power now but i hear that with him want me achieve it hallelujah so this morning we are coming to fight against our enemy with the word of god that is why the bible makes us understand that man should not sleep plenty other than that you will go in poverty you see only power pen that baby 
ohia no di inti wo ha na open da be be na un so we say obe bo mpaya and the atan fun obe nya o ti say rapture o tan fun obe nya o ti say rapture so it's very important say as a human being or as a believer you should let the word of god be in your heart it should never depart from your mouth that is why on the hills when the devil came to tempt jesus he spoke with the word he spoke with the word and that is what he used to defeat the enemy don't love sleep please don't love sleep we say we are soldiers of the lord and as a soldier you should always be on guard your senses all the five senses should be working you should have the five senses working so that when the enemy comes knocking at your door you have the word of god as a weapon to defeat him when he comes you declare i shall be the head and not the tail i am a winner and not a loser i am the conqueror jesus has defeated you 2000 years ago you declare and let the devil know that you know who you are and you are not afraid of his schemes hallelujah so this morning i want us to pray some few prayers I want us to pray some few prayers and tell the enemy that we are not moved by what he's doing. We are not moved because the Lord has given us the victory over him. So whatever he plans, whatever he schemes about shall never prosper. Hallelujah. Shall never prosper. Hallelujah. So please let's be on our feet as we declare some few prayers this morning. And please remember the way you pray, that's the way you are also going to receive the blessing. Whatever you are going to communicate to God this morning, the effort you put in it is what is going to determine the outcome of your blessings. Hallelujah. So please, with all eyes closed and hands lifted, please do it as if today is the last day. The last end of the road for you Jesus. that you are so desperate to receive from God. Yes. Hallelujah. So, please, that is close. We are coming to pray. We are telling God that we immerse ourselves. We immerse ourselves in His blood. Yes. Because it's the blood that speaks better things for us. Yes. So, we are coming to immerse ourselves in His blood. Jesus. That every enemy around us, may He Himself expose them wherever they are that they want a downfall whoever they are be it a relative be it a friend be it a colleague wherever the house that we are serving that's the house of god even we have even we have sorry hello hallelujah we are coming to pray and tell him that even the house that we serve him in we also have enemies there our homes our schools our offices we have enemies there so whoever they are wherever they are the lord himself should expose them he should separate them from our lives because the bible makes us to understand before isaiah would see the hand of god he took the death of king hosea before the Isaiah saw the hand of God. So this morning, we are come to pray and tell God that he should expose every one of us, everyone around us who wants our death, who wants our destruction, Jesus, who is cursing us at the yes, time we are still, we are planning evil, Sai ka 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 
you see as an issue in your life it's yours to wrestle with him yes. it's yours to take it from him yes. it's yours to fight him Jesus. so this morning we are coming to pray yes. that every seed that the enemy has planted in our life yes. that is causing us issues that is causing us misfortunes Jesus. that is causing us troubles Jesus. this morning Jesus. may that die Jesus. may every bad seed die Amen. every bad seed die Amen. that is affect my die Amen. that shame die Amen. that promise I felt die Amen. that that die Say, 
They will turn to foolishness. May they turn against themselves. May they fight themselves. They fight themselves. May they die. 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 May they die.
comfort zone yes. because the Lord made us to understand Jesus. the kingdom of God suffered violence yes. and the violence taken it by force yes. so if you want to take whatever belongs to you Jesus. you have to take it by force this yes. Yes. hallelujah Amen. I come to do our last prayer yes. that every evil that goes on in the night Jesus. may God turn it into testimonies and blessings Jesus. may the Lord turn every evil that goes on in the night into Jesus. blessings and testimonies Jesus. Seven times. Jesus. And with the last name of the seventh one, yes. you are going to scream. Jesus. Scream like never before. Jesus. So every Jericho walls around you. Jesus. Down. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. So one. Jesus. Two. Jesus. Three. Jesus. Four. Jesus. Five. Jesus. Six. Jesus! Seven! Jesus! Jesus! Oh! Mention the name. 
whatever you want to receive, if it's marriage, whatever it is, you mention it and you drop the seed. Whatever it is, you mention it and drop the seed. So line by line, ushers, please, you direct them.